stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Not one foot closer. Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters? <laughs> we're, the only we're the railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow! Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. Glad someone noticed. You know, you're practically famous. Des, seriously, you haven't heard of her? She's the leader of the Minutemen. It seems like the whole Commonwealth's flying her flag. So, you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge. But that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors. What are they really? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic. Part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think, they feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? I risk my life for people every day. Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. <clears throat> Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Hey, at least nobody got hurt. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting-to-know-you game. But we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? 
You just don't give up. All right. I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around. Did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Tough break. And then some. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Go on. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. Hi. Oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little Slocum Joe's of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome and sons of bitches! The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Hey. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talkie talk, and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. Why would Ricky lie? People always got reasons to lie. The Institute could have turned him. Or, more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word. The front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Hi. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. 
The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The Railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the Railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, <sighs> fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Ready to go. First step is to override the security lockdown. So Hostile Tommy Whispers didn't meeting get detected. Out. He died protecting our secrets. Excellent. Let me see. There. I appreciate it. May it serve you as well, heck, better than it did Tommy. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting your own dumps on this side of the minefield. You got all day if you do. Was all of that worth it? All I know is that Des authorized the op. I just hope we didn't go through all that for the new coffee maker. See you soon. And the new girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me Charmer. Charmer? Hm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. <laughs> so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. All right. Ah, it's our newest agent. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. He may have a good reason to be paranoid. Perhaps he does. And maybe he did the other dozen times he's made our agents jump through these unnecessary hoops. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. 
You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Glad you signed on. It means I might get to do You there. Caravan or raider? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Um, might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Kidman. That settlement Lucas Miller was talking about? Wiped out. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone a bit more... Uh, armed. You're with our mutual friends, yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise efficiently. Right. Particularly if the merchandise doesn't exactly belong to you. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. <laughs> I can do that. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So, if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. Excuse me. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. What sort of name is H222? It's my designation. The Institute doesn't bother to name their property. Scents are just numbers and letters to them. I'll fire up the signal. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Easy there. Don't shoot. Charmer, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you, you okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more than raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. What type of help? We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah, I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Hey, high rise. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types, huh? So, is this a normal operation? More than I'd like. Sometimes I can sneak our friends through all by my lonesome. But other times it's like the damn raiders are holding a convention. Working with you made it a whole lot easier. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. Carrington. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? Of course, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. 
The safe houses are in trouble too? I thought only the switchboard was attacked. Ah, the Institute didn't content itself with just destroying our headquarters. No. They launched simultaneous strikes on all we hold dear. Herkimer and Allen's safe houses are both confirmed kills. Many fear Augusta will be added to that list. How bad did the Institute hurt us, Doc? Frankly, we're lucky there's a railroad left at all. I don't remember a time our numbers have been so few. But the mission carries on. Tell me about Augusta. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. All hands lost at Augusta Safe House. When it rains, it pours. Augusta Safe House was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of files to be put out. Hey. Okay. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? Yeah. Let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there.